like recording in progress. Okay. Um, I will share my screen in just a second, but um, happy May, everybody. It is a one and a Monday, which is always really fun to start fresh. So I appreciate y'all jumping on tonight at literal last minute that I was scheduling this. Um, a lot of our you know, smaller teams do calls at 8.30 or 9 on Mondays usually, and we're going to start doing a smaller one for some of the level ones and people that I'm helping as well, so that we can all be kind of doing that same rhythm together. Um, and then we were talking about maybe a couple of times a month meeting like at 8.15 or 8 o'clock and maybe doing something as like a whole big team together, like fun things like maybe trivia or just shout outs and, you know, prizes or, you know, fun things like that, just so that we can all see everybody's faces and not just our smaller portions of people. But um, especially in May, since we're doing the one a day in May stuff, I think it's important that we do have that smaller group accountability and connection just to kind of keep us going in the day-to-day -day stuff. Um, I was talking to another one of our girls, Samantha, and she didn't, she wasn't able to be on tonight, but um, just about how when we're not consistent, we're going to hear a lot about this in the training from, from this month too, but when it's not the everyday little stuff, it feels like it has to be sporadic and maybe the bigger impact. And then it has like this bigger pull on you of like what you're expecting the result to be. And it feels a little bit more draining and it feels a little bit more mm -hmm. like this, um, tug of war with people rather than it just being this consistent, small steps, daily activity that we're doing throughout. And I feel like that helps us to grow in our confidence. It helps us to grow in, in less stress about what it is that we're doing. And ultimately it's going to help us reach our goals bigger, better all the way around because, we're actually able to impact a lot more people when it's when it's a, a small daily activity. Um, and of course, we can scale that based on what your goals actually are. But let me share my screen. Um, I know most of you know where stuff is, but I think it's always helpful just to see it. You get your eyeballs on it. Where is share? There it is. Oh, it's green color. Um, and share. Let me pop down my all of my chats, 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 like shots. Um, oh, I can't get Johnny's down because my thing's in the way. There we go. Okay, so let's go over here. Waking Life Business Essentials. This is our big old team page. Most of you know, for those who are newer on the recording, this is where that is. Um, the featured section is your best guess. If you have a question about when something is or what time something is, that is kind of the same thing as when, um, <laughs> or like what's going on, this featured section up here, you can click on it right there or just scroll across on your phone. It's literally just a scroll across at the top. And I'll try to keep things up there that are pertinent to what's going on. Um, so right here, you'll see May incentives, you'll see our calendar, um, and then the one a day in May stuff. Um, this has the link to the tracker and all of that stuff too. Um, and then if you keep going, you'll see things that I just have po popped up there that I feel like are super helpful. Um, trying to get some boards together for us too, because I think that that is a really neat thing that we can use. Anyway, back over here, incentives for the month are really fun. And in addition to making sure your own subscription is running first through the 15th, if you want that $3 shipping, um, I love that they're doing that just to help us all kind of get our own stuff in, make sure that we're getting little surprise gifts for our orders running. Um, all new VIPs are getting free shipping all month long, but you do have to use a code for that. So that would be the May 23 code. Um, so subscriptions don't need a code. I do believe um, discretionary orders first through the 15th will need a code to, to get the free economy shipping or the $3 economy shipping. So um, <laughs> May 23, they're just being good about having us something new every month for existing customers and things we can offer new VIPs. Um, registering for convention, obviously leaders retreat contest began truly it began last week because they allowed us to kind of double dip into stuff. 
um, but actually begins now and ends all the way at the end of August. So we've got four months of Leaders Retreat Contest. Um, Kim is going to have a call right after this one at nine o'clock. If you want to go over specific numbers and hear what she's going to be doing, y'all can pop on and, and chat with her about that. And we have some great recorded calls and trackers already up in the page as well for you. Um, but Leaders Retreat is all about your level one business. So who you're personally sponsoring, who you are helping to refer from your level ones, and then the retention that comes from that. We want to make sure we are beginning to become more retention heavy when it comes to your business, because that's where that baseline is going to come from, right? Um, the more happy customers you have, then your business gets to stack on top of that rather than filling a funnel that's kind of always emptying. Um, and that's a lot of times where the consistency comes in too, because if we're consistently adding people and we have that baseline of retention, yes, some people are going to fall off, but it's not ever going to feel like you're empty and then you're having to fill back up and you're empty and you're having to fill back up, right? Um, so always wanting to, to remind ourselves to focus on retention and this contest is going to really hit that home because we're going to get all those credits for retention as well. Double credits all month long. So not only is it a great way to earn extra credits by enrolling more this month and making sure that your retention credits, um, maybe even if you're close to a re-rank, your rank that you started January with is your baseline. Um, so if you've not hit your closest rank since January or since before January, you can do that. And that would be double credits this month too. Um, consistency credits for maintaining that rank as well, whether that's silver, senior silver, gold, or above. Um, and then what I love about the fact that they doubled credits this month, which seems like, oh, really already this early in the contest is because all of the business that you do this month is only going to help you have more credits every other month because of the retention piece. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're setting your goals for this month. And as you're, you know, planning out, obviously the one a day in May has our little IPA checklist with it. And we'll go over that in just a minute. Um, again, but that that's really going to make a difference for you, um, whether you're going to try and shoot for, you know, adding three this month and helping one person, you know, add three, or if you're going to try and add six, you know, or if you're going to shoot for the moon and, and reach your next rank, like all of that is just going to compound going forward. And so we'll move on from leaders retreat stuff because Kim's going to cover a lot of that in, in the next call. Um, okay. 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 Register for Nashville. If you haven't, um, I think we have through the end of May to get registered and for all that, I will double check on that. Um, but convention is always a fun time. Remember, this is not an earned trip. It is something that we just get to go and enjoy each other and learn and grow and kind of have fun together. And it, it builds a lot of great community and camaraderie and helps us all get on the same page. Um, I will we'll talk about that in just a second. And enroll one and earn a swag bag. Have y'all seen those in your email yet? They're super cute. They can't, I can't tell like the size wise, but they fit mm -hmm. like our full size canister bottles um, of product. And so I'm excited to earn one of those, but this is really neat because every single person who er who enrolls one, so that's new people potentially that are enrolling um, any one of that, um, like they get to earn these cute little bags. And so I love when it's not just like add six and earn an iPad is great and it's fun, but that's, you know, that's only handfuls of our business people that are going to get to capitalize on that. So in building systematic approaches to our business, we do want to make sure we're asking for a shout out post and, and looking for people to refer or when people jump back in and they're going to be participating in something like this um, gut balance and lean challenge, um, slim down for summer is what I think they're calling it. It's in going to be hosted in the Pivotal app. These are things that... <laughs> existing customers may want to get plugged into. And it is a great time to help them ask for, you know, an accountability partner to share for the first time. So um, be looking for that. Our inflammation challenge is going to be finishing out this week. And then the um, gut balance and lean challenge is going to be starting on the 8th. It's not necessarily something we're running on our community page, 
It's going to be run from Pivotal, from corporate, which is kind of cool, but I do think we will share a lot of the content into our community page for our people to get, um, like to, to be able to take advantage of and to remind them to pop into Pivotal as they can. That's another great piece that I think we all can get better at sharing. It's a free platform and a lot of places charge a lot of money for stuff like that with the grocery lists and all of those things. Um, so mm -hmm. I think we can really capitalize on that and it's going to be helpful for retention. So all of this stuff, a vital biome is still the product of the season. It's a fabulous product. And so if that's in subscriptions, you're getting extra perks for that. Um, and I think that's it. So little swag bag, when you add one, add three, and it's a cute shaker cup. So we'll have everyone with their shaker cups. Yay. Um, let's go back over to featured and we'll pop in just in case we miss some things in the calendar. So the calendar's up in featured too. And this is just, you know, rudimentary. Obviously there's stuff happening in our threads and stuff going on all the time. Um, but what the calendar helps us do is know, okay, what's coming up? What do I need to be sharing about in my stories? What can I be inviting people to, right? Especially this one a day in May, that's one of our daily tasks is reaching out to new people and following up and inviting our fence sitters or existing customers, or maybe people that need to get back on the wagon. Um, so if you'll see Monday nights where most people are having team calls and Thursday nights is reserved for our most of our events. Um, so each month we always have our real people, real stories and our real income, real impact. Those are live testimony events and our Jody's team. She's got a few mm -hmm. of our buddies that'll be sharing in real people, real stories next week. Um, and then I think Carissa Casey's team is going to be sharing in the real income, real impact. Um, and so those are great things. So just in your mind, you know, make sure you're considering Monday evenings for at least half an hour and Thursday evenings, whether it's a 15 minute messenger event or a 30 minute real people, real stories, real income, real impact. These are nights where we're just, we're going to, you know, maybe push off whatever your evening plans are or pop into the bathroom to make sure you're plugging someone into a messenger event. Um, but what we hope to do with that is allow us to have more of a cyclical and systematic approach to what you're sharing and when so that you've always got a reason to be reaching out. Sometimes it can feel like, I don't know what to say to someone or, you know, how to start this conversation or how to, you know, restart another conversation as you're following up with someone. But the more things that we can provide for each other to have um, something to invite to, I think that's really helpful um, because it's just offering another opportunity for them to potentially plug into something where they're going to learn or hear someone's story and allow them to have that um, change of heart where they're finally ready to give it a shot, right? So those are Thursday nights. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. Three day reset group reset will be 22nd through the 24th. Um, whether or not you participate, you can absolutely be sharing about that. And so we'll have some reminders probably toward the end of this week and beginning of this week to make sure we're getting orders in and people plugged in for that reset. Y'all a reset in May is going to be really great. Um, because it's right before summertime. It's at the end of the school year. People are going to be looking for something like that, especially if they've got trips planned already. Um, it's also just a great time after probably all the end of the year snacks and, <laughs> and all of the stuff that happens. Um, but inviting people to that three-day reset, utilizing the triplex plus. And remember, um, like we've talked about in our calls in the past couple of months that we want to be using reset as a retention focus. Reset is not a one-time shot, do a three-day reset, get all the things that you're, you know, hoping to get and then peace out. Um, we don't want to use it that way because we want people to have a lifestyle change and we want people to see long-term overall health benefits, right? Um, and ultimately we want them to stick around and be a part of what we've got going on. So um, as always, we want to make sure we're not just sharing, get a three-day reset, but help us find your regimented combo 
and kick it off, jumpstart your journey or restart your journey with a three-day reset, right? So that's the beginning. They see some great results. They feel some of those chains break of um, the things that they've maybe been habitually doing or not doing. And it gives them this catapult into whether it's the triplex or a different basics combo that they're going to be starting off with to have every day. Um, so that retention focus to those are wonderful. And it makes the reset so much cheaper when they purchase it that way. So the value is better. And then their experience is going to be better. And we're going to be focused on their regimen while we're kicking it off with the reset. So just a reminder for that, um, one a day in May training leader street contest begins, slim down for summer with pivotal. Okay, that's the calendar. Any questions? I know I'm like, I feel like I'm saying a lot of the same things, but then I'm talking really quickly. So, <laughs> um, okay. I would love to hear who is excited about the one a day in May stuff and maybe why, and how you feel like it's going to be helpful, not just because I did the first training, but <laughs> anybody. I, I am excited about it because of the, like starting off, like it's the end and it helps me to do that. Like it, it helps me to stay consistent and learn new things every day and get motivation and encouragement each day and then get my stuff done so that I stay on top. And at the end of this month, I'll have made the most of it. That's right. Yeah. I see you, cute baby. Anybody yeah. else? Well, I'm excited about it for those reasons too. And I think the the purpose behind it is to have small, short trainings because once a week or a couple of times a week, you know, we might watch a 30 minute training. I've, I've watched and been a part of more trainings this first half of this year than I feel like I've been in a lot of years because of joining Jessica Hefley's coaching and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm just remembering how um, impactful it really is and how connecting it is and how things can shift our mindsets when we are doing them daily, but it doesn't have to be a long time every day. Right. Um, and so what I love about this one a day in May is especially for new friends or friends that are restarting working the business to get back into a rhythm of just remembering that this is a priority, like in their mind and their heart, it just is bringing it back up to say, this is something I'm going to pay attention to every day. And then beyond May, then they're going to hopefully be reminded like, oh yeah, I need to go see what's in the team page or I'm going to go check the team chat or, oh, I haven't, you know, started a conversation today. And it's those little activities again, like we said in the beginning where all of a sudden it's not the end of the month and you're like, dang it, I wanted to add three people and I've got to go back through messenger and see how many conversations I can restart, right? It's that slow drip of just like building your belief and building your confidence and it creating that funnel and, and creating conversations all month long. And this training specifically is going to be awesome for newer people or those of us who need a refresher and some of the basics. Um, Jessica literally went down her brain and thought of every question or every topic for when she was just getting started, things that we, we watched or we used to train on like all the time that we just like maybe don't talk about very much anymore. And so it's going to be an amazing refresher. And if even if you know these things, having these short videos and reminders of this stuff equips you to then pass on the information, right? Because we're leaders when we even have one customer underneath us that's ordering. And so all of this stuff, even if we don't feel like, well, I'm not going to be leading a training call, which all of you could, um, but it still helps to have that stuff in your mind and your heart to be able to recall that or to even use these trainings as a third party tool at any given point in time when you've got someone that you need to overcome an objection with. Um, and at the top here again in featured, if you'll scroll over, you'll see the calendar post and it's got a link to the tracker, which Chelsea Bennett did for us. And she's so sweet. She's on Megan Dykstra's team. Oop. I did my blur so that you can't see it, um, but super wonderful little tracker there that you can keep track of each week, Monday through Saturday and check off all of your stuff. Um, and then another little reminder of that here. And then making sure we're getting into our small groups. Um, another sweet friend is going to make us a little check-in tracker graphic so that we can be sharing and posting those in our accountability groups or underneath the daily posts just for more. I mean, some people, I know for me, 
if I know someone's going to be expecting to see that graphic, then I'm going to be more likely to do the activity so I can share the graphic with the check marks, right? Like it, we're all motivated <laughs> differently. So we'll have that to you guys by tonight so that we can start sharing those things. And I know in different um, chat threads, it be weekly prizes or giveaways or flash giveaways for people that are turning in their stuff and watching the videos. And then we'll do a big giveaway for everyone who has commented in each one of the videos. Um, and then when, when we pick that person, we'll make sure that they had been doing their IPA to the best of the ability. So there is a lot of things to go for that for, but ultimately creating that consistency and doing that for yourself and your business. All right. What else were we supposed to talk about? All right. So let me see what time is it? 54. Are we doing good? All right. Let me stop share. Cause I can't see anything. Okay. Well, I just wanted to say again, the begin like the end is also a huge thing that um, corporate is trying to teach us. Genevieve is awesome. And those of you who have ever heard her speak at anything like gold school or convention, like we know that she is the best, but y'all, she really is so smart and she's taking our company in a direction um, that's going to help us again, just have this systematic approach to like not second guessing on what it is that we should be doing and how we should be growing our teams. Um, and all of that comes with leading with the business um, for sure, but creating referrers and creating gold legs under you. So who am I looking for? Who's going to be my next gold leg? Um, and all of that starts with just sharing and having those conversations. And so we'll be talking a lot about that this month. Um, and one of the big things that she said is like, begin like it's the end. We do usually push hard at the end of the month. And what that does for us is it leads a lot of conversations or people watching that maybe weren't watching before. And I think a lot of times we can be like, oh, it's the beginning of the month. Whew. 30 more days, you know, I've got time. And then those people maybe like they stop watching when we are less like on our game or that conversation sits for a little bit and then we'll follow up maybe, you know, in a couple of weeks or by the 15th and then we'll push again at the end. And so what this begin like it's the end theory is going to help us to do is capitalize on when people are interested, let's go ahead and meet them where they are. What if, because we had conversations going and we're working with people and talking and or just posting more, et cetera, et cetera, um, toward the end of last month, what if you could sign your three people in the first week of the month? What would that allow you to do retention wise and filling up your funnel for the rest of the month and helping those people you just signed get plugged in and potentially refer? Do you see how it's like, it doesn't feel like, oh, phew, I just signed all these people and now I got to start over and find three more people to sign and who got them at the end of the month. And it makes sense to me why retention doesn't feel like as much of a focus when we're doing that. But if we kind of shift our month to where we're working to add our people in the first part of the month, and then what if our last half of the month, while we're posting and creating new conversations to fill our own funnel back up, we're working with those people to do shout out posts and to get into a 15 minute messenger event and to invite people to something to help them refer and earn 30 bucks a referral or potentially $300 for adding three, right? Getting people involved in that faster and getting them plugged in so that our retention methods make sense and it doesn't feel like a startup. Because for me, when a new month turns over, it feels like, okay, new, right? New month. And then I forget to work with the people that had just joined. And I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Everything doesn't start over. Those people are still here. Um, so begin like it's the end. What conversations do you have going or could you follow up with? I know for me, a lot of times this is going to look like who needs to get their subscription back on and who do I need to have checked on that hasn't been, you know, checked on in a little while with their products so that we can help plug them into what we've got going on for the month as well. So front loading the month doesn't just have to be with enrollments, but I do think having those conversations and all of that in the beginning can help us move forward and finish out a month where we feel like we're laying it down instead of scrabbling to, to pick it all up. Um, okay. I think that was everything that we wanted to cover. Um, I'm really praying for our teams just like to be blessed by this one a day in May challenge to feel the restful rhythm of what it looks like to have set time of activity daily 
Um, and just getting back into a rhythm of, again, just making this a, a mental priority and, and learning about how this business doesn't have to be difficult. Like it can be simple. Um, but as long as we're working at it, you know, together and, and day by day. Does anybody have anything else that they wanted to share or talk about or a win from last month that you want to shout out? Um, I'm thankful that you're all here and that you're on and that we're just ready to go. Anybody? All right. Well, let's pop over at Kim. Um, if you wanted to share that, um, oh, was someone about to say something? Don't let me stop you. Sally, I was just quick. It's Brenda. I just want to say your video this morning for a day in May, the first day was awesome because changing our mindset that it's a gift and we have it to give to someone that has helped us. Just thank you. I mean, I had a slow April, had a great March, but I'm gonna, you know, really hope to have a great May. So Thank you, Brenda. And I'm just like, even looking at those of you who are here, like I know each one of your health testimony stories. And, and that's what was so helpful to me, even when I was recording that of just like, when we have had the transformations that we've had, even if it feels like it was small things over time, like, I mean, y'all, if you have not seen Brenda's testimony and how she has been sharing her story, <laughs> I mean, you think about it, it makes perfect sense why you would be shouting it from the rooftops. And I, y'all, and here, I'll just share a, a what I did today and then we'll hop off. Um, maybe we can get back to sharing lots of those. Here's what I did today. Um, there is a girl, a lady that um, her son is in Skylar's class. And for about a year, she has been talking to me about the terrible state of her gut and like all of the medicines that she's been taking and all of the different ways with nature of past that she's been working multiple thousands of dollars every couple of months for shots and, you know, elimination diets and all this stuff. And like, of course, when we know what we have is so simple and so effective, like it just makes me want to like jump out of my skin, you know? Um, but it's still a waiting game. It's still loving people where they are at and just like being like, girl, you are crazy for even doing all of those things. Like I would never have even done any of that stuff, you know? Um, and if you're willing to do all of that, do this. Um, but she randomly called me out of the blue and y'all know me, I am not a answer the phone type of a person. So I did let it go the first time. I was like, surely she'll text me. It's probably something about the school. And then she called me right back and I was like, okay, I'll answer. And she was randomly asking me a question about making bread. And she's making gluten-free bread and she's like, didn't realize how involved the process would be. And so she was asking me about like, do I have to put it in this basket thing? You know? And I'm like, yeah, no. And so she starts talking to me about why she's having to make gluten-free bread and what else is she going to have to cut out and nothing else that seems to be working. And I was just like, girl, I hear you, but nothing is going to work. You could cut out all the food and you're just going to be hungry. Like you're just going to be starving. Like you will have no nutrients, but your gut is like, nothing's helping it to get better, you know? And so I was like, if you would give me $200 a month in 90 days, I could almost guarantee, I can't guarantee, but I could almost guarantee that you would at least see some positive benefits. And she was like, well, I, as they reminded me of Josie, when we talked, because she said, I don't want to get on this next medication. They're going to put me on because my husband doesn't even want me to look at the side effects because it's so dangerous of a drug. And I was just like, what if there was something simple that you could simplify with? And it had side benefits <laughs> instead of side effects, like causing cancer or death. Like what if what if I'm totally nuts and I will give you a hundred bucks if like it totally like fails and does not work for you, you know, but this was a year coming and it was completely out of the blue. So I guess my point in saying all of that was you never know who's watching, who's hurting and who's getting to the end of their rope because she's just, she's finally there. She's finally at the end of her rope where she's just like, yes, okay, I'll try it. So just send me the card, <laughs> you know? And so now I get to pray for her and give her this hopefully completely tiny, simple package of things that might absolutely change her life completely. 
compared to what she's been dealing with. And that is the gift of plexus. Doesn't mean that everyone's gonna see it as a gift initially, but we know what we have and when we get to offer it and when people get to experience the healing and the hope that they have been praying for, nothing is better than that. And so fight for those moments. You do you, our due diligence is just to be here, to be open for business in our consistency and in our sharing and in what we have to offer people. Anyway, and y'all be praying for her with me. <laughs> Hopefully this really is a big deal for her health. She needs it. All right. All right. Y'all jump over with Kim on her call in just a minute. If you want to go through some leaders retreat numbers, other than that, be sure you have done your one a day in May stuff, comment on the videos, be sure so that I know who's doing those. And then as soon as I get that little check-in graphic, um, I will put that on there and then I'll share, Kim, will you share your link to your call? I wonder if we can copy it from in here or would it be better just in the business thread for anyone who wants to hop on with you? I'll just quick put it in the business thread. I have it in my team thread. So I'll just forward it from that into the business Awaken, thread. Yeah. So she's going to pop that in the Awaken Life business thread. So we'll hop off here. Yeah. And if you want to jump on with her, then click on that and be there. All right. Love you guys. Good night.